All right. Today is a lesson all about two-step parabolems and that are edge. So let's take a look at how we would do a, a two-step problem. Of course, two-step is talking about having, you know, two steps. So let's work with this. It says, Julie went to the store with $20. And she bought eight cans of dog food for $0.67 cents per can. How much money did she have left? All right. Well, first we've got to start with... You know, that simple concept of understanding how much money did she spend to begin with. So we know there were eight cans, and then of course the 67 cents each. So we'll multiply by 67 cents. Now, it's probably a good idea that we, we work with the same kind of labels, right? This is cents, and this is dollars. So let's convert that 67 cents into dollars by throwing a little decimal in front of it just like that. So now we can do the multiplication and we get a, a simple answer of, let's see, doing the math in my head, doing the math in my head, doing the math in my head, five dollar and thirty six cents. Did I do my math correct? Well I hope so because that's the number we're going with. All right, moving on. So if you spend five dollars and thirty-six cents on this dog food, this does not really sound like the most nutritious kind of dog food to be buying if it's only sixty-seven cents. Maybe that's a little dog. I don't know. Anyway, now we gotta say, well, how much money did she have left over, right? That's what we want to know. So she brings the twenty-dollar bill, right? And then we're gonna subtract that now from our five dollar and thirty-six cents. Throw that stuff in there so I can see my place values. All right, and I subtract. I got to borrow, got to borrow. Boom. This becomes a 9, this becomes a 9, this becomes 10. You know how to do that. That should be super simple. All right. Decimal went straight down. Should have $14.64 left. Do you agree with me? Did I do my math right? Process-wise, definitely got the process right. As we work with this process, we see the two steps and how it worked out to get us our final answer. All right, moving on. Now, average is kind of a, a special kind of two-step problem, so we call it average because it's got its own little thing going for it, right? But we can use this simple equation to help us out here, right? We can talk about how average equals the sum of the numbers divided by the number of numbers. Let's take an example to try and work with this, all right? Average is not a new concept for you, but maybe it's been a while. So let's get buddy-buddy with average again. All right, it says, when people were seated, there were three in the first row, eight in the second row, and ten in the third row. What was the average number of people in each of the first three rows. Okay, so following our formula, we gotta take the sum of the numbers. So the sum of the numbers will be three plus eight plus 10. All right, hopefully you mentally added those together, but I'll throw them down here just in case you didn't. And you get a total of 21. Okay, next, the number of numbers. Well, I count one, two, three numbers. So now I'm going to divide by three. 21 divided by three, of course, is seven. So that becomes seven people on average. Well, I thought I thought that was much easier than I remember. Average. All right. Well, well, let's challenge you just a little bit here now. And, and take this on for size. It says, in a word game, five students in the class scored 100 points. Four scored 95. Six scored 90. And five scored 80. What was the mean of the scores? Now, you probably are saying, what in the world is a mean? That's a mathematical way of saying average. Well, that's it. Enjoy this lesson. Two-step problems and, of course, average.